All right, we're back. Once again, oh my gosh, where did I leave off? So I was going towards a slug. There's some more quartz up there, that's cool. So I wanted to grab this slug, but the next thing I want to do is space elevator and assembler for smart plates. Heck, where is it? I hate when it's like this. It's like mold. I don't know. It's underground. Oh, I don't like when this happens. This makes me sad. Where the heck is it? There's some un. Oh my gosh! Didn't mean to go down here. Oh my gosh! I'm just falling. Oh, there's one. Okay. Be careful here. I feel like there's, there's slugs. There's baddies. Yep. Thanks. Ah, this is the place. Ooh, I should go grab some coal while I'm here. Just for research. Then I'll run some wire down and then run some wire back. This is where I can set up my initial coal farm down here. Heck is that one out there? Is that just iron? I think it's just iron. I don't want to get rid of it. It'll be my way later. Yeah, eventually we'll be able to make coal power to sort of ease some of the pressure. some of the pressure on the biomass one I should say Ooh, we got spitters and there's coal right there all right so this is normal that's good let me get like 50 the sulfur on me by the way yeah but not enough oh the cadmium not the sulfur yeah i don't have enough sulfur anyway wonder if anybody was bothered by that uh base elevator thing i'm uh, sorry the uh the to-do list all right so we got the coal I don't want to do my steel production here. I want to do, since it's close to the water, I want to just run the coal down and do the generator there instead. I think I think that's a good use of it. I might wait until I have the Mark II miner if I can. I don't know if I can, actually. That's part of the steel production, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Mark II Miner gives a lot more uh, power to the coal generation. It allows for a lot more generators. I'm 
glad I accidentally stumbled on this route. I like this route. Boom. And boom goes a dynamite. No, don't fall that way. Now we get back to a mainish path. Head back towards the hub. I think I can run this one over to, yeah, the reinforced plate production area. Just like that. All right. So we've got a plan for coal. Um, not for the steel, though. Actually, I kind of do have a plan for steel. I think that area that I saw on the other side, that one had a lot of potential. Uh, if there's, a, I think there's a coal vein, maybe two over there. There's a lot of potential for good production there. Just clearing a little bit, trying to stay a little on top of the, uh, on top of our, whoops, I ran out of fuel, a little bit on top of our biomass generator. We're still in good shape there, I got plenty, plenty of fuel, I believe, I don't think it's run out, it's still green, no, it's yellow, okay, maybe not, oh, it is, okay, we're fine. Hi, Ellie. I thought she went to the bathroom already. She tricked you. Yeah, just leave her in there. Okay. Yeah, it's coming out at a good pace now. 93, good. It's all good news. Okay. What's the next thing? Oh. I could craft, let's go ahead and do this one here. I got some hog and some spitter. Hog to a spitter on that thing. Okay. Nice, okay, cool. Oh, let's put all this stuff away and then we're gonna build. Oh, let's let's just go ahead and see what we need here. I need to build a couple things. I need to build the space elevator, and I need to build um, an assembler. And I think that's it. So we get some wire. Oh, I wanted to put away the research stuff, the non-buildy stuff. Oh, I need to craft more bullets too. I'll keep that. Throw that in there. Okay. Yeah, for now I could put the power slugs in there. I don't have a lot left on me, do I? Oh my gosh, it's already almost full. That's incredible, okay. Plate's good. This is full. Oh, crud, okay. <laughs> Amazing, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is definitely optimized production here. Yeah, get 
extra wire here for that. And let's see, maybe I can just throw an extra container back here or something. I don't know why it's being all weird, but I don't really care either. Okay. Just making sure I don't overflow here. Okay. So we're going to build a space elevator, and I think I got a spot for it. I want to bring it up here, up to the top of this area, maybe over there by the water. Might do a little bit of clearing while I'm up there. Yeah, okay. Let me clear this out too. Speaking of clearing... Don't need any of that stuff anymore. Okay, so space elevator. I want to build kind of way out here because I'm going to use this area as kind of a centralized base point. It even has access to water. So there might be, you know, I might pull water out. I don't know. If I need water for something, I got water here. Hopefully deep enough for a water thing. It looks like it is. Anyway. Uh, my base, I want to go kind of up here. My space elevator. Yeah, like this area is flat enough, clear enough. I think it's okay. I think it'll be nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it up here. Okay. Here it is. Space elevator, guys. Space elevator to heaven. I want to point... Yeah, keep that away from there. That's fine. Like this. There we go. Then, while that's going, I'm going to build some platforms nearby. Uh, not higher. Let's do some low platforms, like two meters. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, so now what I build is an assembler, right here. Aim it here. And this is going to be building smart plating, so it needs rotors and reinforced plates. It just requires one of each. And then I also want to... Uh, oh, I need the speed up thing. Crap. So I need more rotors, more reinforced plates. And then I want to triple the speed on it. So rather than, you know, concerning myself with trying to build an automated system for this, which I did before, I'm just like, why don't I just hand deliver some stuff, you know? Put in all the... Oh, I need a... Uh, hey, I'll build a storage thing behind it that I can put all the materials in. A couple storage things, feed them in, and we'll be set. Okay. Alright, so. Grab the blue guys out of here. 
And the power shards, do they have power ones in here? Did I, I, yeah, I have two. Well, I can leave those because I'm just going to use three in there. There we go. Okay, let me see, 300, whatever. That'll be a good start. I can go, I'm going to go back and refill it later. I don't want to use all of my materials. So it's already delivered three, right? So we're in business already. Maybe in the future I'll automate it, I don't know, but for now I don't really think I need to. But I definitely want to amp this thing up because it's... If you calculate how much time it actually is going to take, it's kind of crazy. So you want to be dedicating stuff to this. I mean, we could obviously build two assemblers if we really want to go faster but I'm just gonna 250 it and then I'm gonna build two storage containers behind oh that's not gonna work Okay, well, I guess neither of those will work. <laughs> we gotta put another row, unfortunately. Whatever. Then I just throw these guys in here, and I throw these guys in here, and yeah, five per minute, five per minute. So now it's going to be, you know, ten minutes until I finish this thing. Quite quick. Quite quick. But then, remember, the next one needs a thousand of them. Well, if you haven't played this, you don't remember that. So if I just have the one assembler going, which I might stick, well, probably will stick with, because it takes a while to get all the steel stuff going anyway. Then to get that to a thousand, how long would that take? If I'm doing five per minute, that's going to take 200 minutes, so three hours and 20 minutes, but two and a half times that much, like eight hours and 20 minutes or something, if not. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'm doing okay, guys. Uh, yeah. Is there any other research to do? Track sulfur? I can track sulfur. Okay, why don't I start building towards the sulfur? I remember that's pretty annoying, actually. Holy cow, look how far out that is. 900. Need to load this up and, yeah, grab some supplies. Head out. I think there's a coal vein there as well. That could be a good spot to build my stuff, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so, well, first of all, leave me alone. Where did I get all that solid biofuel from? Holy cow. Uh, okay. Let me put it in here for the stuff I need, like 50, well, I guess it doesn't matter, 56 or 200, right? Stack is a stack. 
It was from that storage container, I think, that was doing it passively. Okay. Okay, so it's concrete. Okay. Let's get some more concrete. Well, no, I got two stacks. Okay. Let's get some... Do I need screws? No, I could put the screws away. I only need really need like a stack of screws even that is kind of excessive okay let's get five stacks of this just to say i did it and then how am i doing on poles poles are good probably top off that last stack and then i'll be good like that there we go concrete's good um, I don't think I need this stuff yet. Wire is good. Cable's good. Yeah, I think we're set. Uh, rotors, I guess if I need an assembler. Oh, a lot of this as well. How did that get in there? Wait. I think I put it in the wrong one or something, but it's okay. Alright, let's go. So I am going to go towards that sulfur vein. Which I think I did in the previous perfect playthrough. I knew the spot, so kind of navigated there. This one. Now, why is that not running fully? I don't know. There's a couple different paths. I think I'm going the wrong way here, though. Oh my gosh, it's a big boy. Big boy doing here? What's he guarding? I don't even know what, what he would be guarding. This thing's guarding something too. Like a holy cow, what is this? Oh, yeah, I am going the wrong way. There's a better path to go for this, I'm pretty sure. What I took before. Maybe this way is better. I think this way might be better. The big quartz, huh? See what I can get from this. Not a lot, holy cow. Yeah, I think it was pretty north in direction, I guess. I don't know. There's a big clearing somewhere. Is it over here? did I go this way? Okay, it's more this way. Uh, okay. 
wait. I keep saying okay like I got something. I don't know. I'm hoping this is that big clearing. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, there we go. Now I kind of know where I am. There's another big boy down here. Right there. Thank you. I need to craft more of those. I keep forgetting to. That could become a problem. It's not crafting, it's equipment. Speaking of that, we're about to hit the limit on here. Beautiful. We just hit 50. Okay. What kind of veins are these? Is this... What is this? Limestone? Just normal limestone? Well, that can help with steel. I think this is where I'm going to do steel production. There's a lot of space here. Especially if I clear all this out, it could be quite a lot of space. <clears throat> Yellow power slug. But before I do any of that, I want to go back and... Shift focus back to objectives. Because... We are, are we're cooking. I think this direction is where I should be going. Wait, which way is the hub? Yeah, I should be bringing it up this way. Never hurts to have more routing, right? This doesn't cost anything. This is not how I came. Okay, I don't think I went through poison like that. Maybe this way. Space elevator! Interesting. I just did a bunch of jumbled wires here. This is not good. Okay, everything else is fine. just can't wait to be king. I can launch myself towards the space elevator. Wee! There we go. Beautiful. And then if I want, what I should do is make the jelly, but I need biomass. Um, sure, why not? We're all having fun here. Let's just make some biomass. There we go. 
probably right about there. I think I can land there. Is this okay? Throw some more rotors and whatnot in here as well. This cutscene. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congrats on delivery. Pioneer, that was a lot of alliteration. And the after completion highlights are completing new project. Continue to just like that. All right. Now it's going to increase to a thousand. Let me see, can I build assemblers right now? I think I have enough, yeah. I'm gonna build two more assemblers for the other two products. They're not unlocked yet, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but a thousand of those plates and then a thousand of those other things and a hundred of those other things. Once I unlock them, that is. Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Thank Remind you. Me. I hope Not to perform is adequately. Saving humanity. It is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. Yeah, I'm very happy with it the production right now. I feel like I'm producing at a good level. Existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for fix it. It is time to start the work on phase two of project assembly. A lot of protein coming through. Are we staying on top of needs? I think we are. We're sort of staying ahead. Once I can upgrade that belt, then I can upgrade the speed of that as well. Um, anyway, let's see what the next one is. We gotta, we're gonna micromanage. We should do it while we're doing this stuff. Okay, coal power first. That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, let's go. Yo, daddy like. Vehicular transport. I really want to play around with this actually, because I feel like I don't do this enough. I think that could be good for when I start doing Yeah, when I start doing steel production. Let's do the tractor. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I need to I don't have any modular frame crafting yet, so Water is a somewhat I have to do that on my own. And it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. Just craft some frames. Now, if I were to dedicate this, like something to this, I could potentially do it. What would I need? Um, can I do it with two veins? I mean, that would be kind of slow, I think. Maybe I can hold off on this and just do hand producing until Mark II time. Let's 
Spark plate's already back up to 45. Amazing, amazing stuff. Check the energy consumption, see if we're gonna I'm gonna be able to do the steel production on this energy. I think so. I'm at 412, 521. I think I can do it. I it doesn't take that much stuff. We've got to build a foundry, a few other things. Might be close though. Um, what else do I need to do? Yeah, I really don't want to set up a modular frame thing just yet. Maybe what I can do... Yeah, same thing I'm doing with other stuff. Just build a constructor out here. And just run it to a... Storage container. Oh, not a constructor. Assembler. Yeah, an assembler... And we're just going to build modular frames. And I'll just throw in some stuff. Iron rods. And I can even do it with... I can put the two storage containers behind it if I want to. Yeah. And then did I put the storage container in front? I did, okay. So I'm just gonna pump them into here. Why not? I don't need a fully dedicated, you know, thing for that. Just every now and again, throw stuff in there. All right, let me think for the coal production what I need. Well, can I get the Mark II miner before I start making steel, or do I have to make steel for the Mark II miner? Let me check here. <laughs> All the way up here. I do need just 100 pipes, but yeah, I do need it. That kind of sucks, because that would really increase production by quite a bit. Well, it is what it is. I, I can always create like a half-ass one and then come back and once I unlock all this special stuff here, it's a good time to upgrade the miner and just add this stuff to production as well. Motor, stator, encased industrial beam. Automated wiring comes there. And the versatile framework comes here, okay. Modular framing, modular framing, whoops. Throw some more of this in here so I don't have to think about it. There we go. Alright, let's clean up my inventory. I guess just get prepped for whatever I'm building next. Next. 
a lot of a lot of those in my inventory. I don't need that many rotors on me. Let's go 200, I guess, just in case. Um, take all the steel plate I can because that's very important. Let's grab a couple of these sheets just in case. Put one of these wires back, I think. Cable. Yeah, let's go with that much cable. Concrete, I'm doing pretty well on. I can probably put one of these away. Just get a thousand. Um, I moved all these, so I'll grab these again. Maybe four stacks, and then... Five stacks of these. Actually, I don't need... Okay. We're back. Oh, I need... Okay. I need to grab the extra stuff now. That's what I was grabbing it for. So, a hundred. Um, did I put the modular plating away? I have it on me. Okay. Cable. Extra cable. Two hundred. There we go. And 400 plate. All right. Okay, so next thing I have to build is vehicular Five transportation. Tractors permit pioneers to move around the world in a manner similar to using legs, except with wheels and the rapid consumption of natural resources. They can also be automated to self-drive and deliver resources between truck stations, which in turn facilitate automation of loading, unloading, and refueling. Okay, very interesting. I think coal is going to allow us to do this stuff, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the Mark 1 Miner. And I'm going to try to pull the coal down. It's way up on top of something, which means I need I'll do this as well, jelly and this. I need biomass, portable miners, modular frames, okay. Um... Not gonna do coal power generator yet, but I am gonna start running coal down until I can start doing steel stuff. Yeah, okay. So get the modular frames that I've been grabbing here. Portable miner, biomass if I wanna do that. Eh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Do I have anything on me? I don't have any grass on me, but okay. So grab some modular plate out of here. Uh, not enough. Portable miner. Let me grab some fuel. I think it can use biofuel to drive, hopefully. And then I'll be ready to go for it. Okay, this is a fast one, actually. I need to look at the next tier because I think I'll just be ready for the next tier. Holy cow. Basic steel production. Oh my gosh, 50, 50 modular frames. Here, where's my slug at? I'm just gonna let me give this guy a couple slugs. There we go. Start producing, man. So grab, two, yeah, two more stacks. Yeah, wire, okay. 
two more stacks of wire, some concrete. And some of this stuff. Do I, oh my gosh, do I not have enough of that now? I do, okay. <laughs> Craziness, okay, two stacks of wire. There we go. Stuff is expensive. And that'll allow for basic steel production. But first I want to set up the tractor system. Which I think I can just pump coal right into the tractor. Somehow. Three, two, one. This is efficiency, baby. Love it. Hate it or love it, the underdog's on top. And I'm going to shine on me until my heart stops. Okay, I can come back for this one. All right, so. Oh, modular frames. Yuck. I only got eight? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck, guys? What the heck is going on here? I don't have enough. I need to craft some modular frames. Okay. I really want to try to at least get this truck route done before I finish today, so let's see if I can do it. Get the map here. Is this the general direction? I guess so. All right, so let's put a truck thing maybe here somewhere. I don't know. I feel like it needs a lot of room. Okay, so transport. We build our truck station. Okay. Right here, maybe. Like, maybe here. Yeah, here. Now we build our tractor. Fix it reminds you to drive vehicles accurately through a truck station's dock area while recording a path. This ensures it will connect properly okay, once everything on. is automated. The truck station can be set to load or unload and can also refuel vehicles. There we go. Unlike some pioneers, truck stations Why didn't I grab saving there we go. Let me grab some more of this. I had some in storage. I just want to make sure I got enough fuel. To get set up, and then I can throw coal, I think, in it. I don't know if the tractor can just use pure coal. We shall find out. I don't know how much biofuel it needs to get there.
This way, okay. Nice. Nope, not that way. Over this way. Okay. Or maybe I just load from up there. Let's see, is there a good spot to build a truck thing up here so I don't have to bring it down the hill? Yeah, let's chop some stuff down here and see if I can make some space and... Or maybe not. Maybe over here. Okay. So I build the truck station. Maybe somewhere over here. Man, there's nothing flat here at all. Over here. Let's see. Can I do some foundations and drive on? It looks like I can drive on this foundation here, so... Maybe I set that up on the other side as well. Like a nice clean implementation here. Okay. So truck station goes here. Like this. Oh, it's not even powered though. I need to power it too, right? Yeah, I didn't power the other one. So fuel is going to pump into, I think, the left one. And, okay. Let's see, can I build some ramps here? Or just make it a little bit nicer to drive on? I think I need the two meter ramps even it's a little steeper it's not getting down enough maybe even the four meter let's see how the two meter looks here that's not too bad you can drive with that. Like that. Let me clear this out. All right. So now I'm going to try to record a path here. Wait, let me check for... Oh my gosh. Why is it having issues there? Let me make sure I can actually get off this side accurately. Yeah, let's add a couple more... Just little ramps here just to... Make it a little nicer. Okay. So it's going to come up here and down here. Okay. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to, going to uh, open record menu. Start recording. Okay, now this way. I hit the right button there.
think I think I need this to be powered before I can do the it didn't sound like it clicked or whatever okay hold on gotta do it again I'm not sure if that does it. They didn't see the indicator. Oh, this is tricky. And then I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> this is dumb. Why is this in the way here? This is so stupid. Yeah, so it does say that. It just makes that sound here. I think that's okay, then. There we go. So I can hide the path while I'm driving, so that's good. Oh, it's up that way? Is it that way? Oh my god. It is that way. Shoot. Man, I need to learn how to drive. How do I get up here easily? Right again. that my god this is a nightmare <laughs> who would have thought this could be such a nightmare all these trees in the way too I need to cut the trees probably I should be okay but one thing is if I have like multiple trucks going at the same time if I have a point where they cross they could hit each other so that's what I'm trying to avoid but the problem is the path is kind of tight okay let's try this again Try it again. I don't think speed matters. I think it's just the path. is pretty simple here. Now I go here. Load. Go again. Go back. Curve around. Go 
back the same way I came, trying to stay to the right if I can to avoid crossing over. Wait, can't I go this way? I don't think I can. I think I might have screwed up again. Let's see. Driving through this? Oh my god. No! Why would I do this? I'm so stupid. <sighs> Why would I try something like that? That is nonsense. Whatever. Let's try it. I think it's okay. Okay, let's save it. Wait, what's going on here? Why is my why are my keys screwed up? Why am I not turning anymore? There we go. That was weird. Alright, I'm gonna throw more fuel in and then I want to see Enable autopilot. Wait, why? I enabled autopilot, why aren't you going? There it goes. See if it makes it. Oh my gosh. An achievement get hit by your own car yep get knocked over by a vehicle i just got an achievement <laughs> oh that's funny right uh, i got creamed okay the only the last thing i'm going to do i know we're over time is i want to run the coal down and just see if i can use the coal as fuel Okay, so it's up there. I know there's coal up there. Oh, there's a piggy here, though. Whoops, miss. All right. is not possible. Let me see. I'm trying to find a better angle here. There we go. That might do it. Let's try it from here.
There it is. That'll work. There we go. Some drop of jelly down. Around there. Whoops. I want an extra one for just for these because I want one that can teleport up there. Wait, why is this not... Oh. There we go. Whee! Is there... Ooh, spitter up here. Nice. Do I run it this way? Oh, there's a blue slug. Let's go. I mean, if I'm doing coal production down there, is it possible to run it this way even? Not looking great. How about over here? Maybe down to there? That looks better. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's where we'll run it to. Just put our miner down here. I need to run my wiring up to here. This was the one I wanted to run. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's producing. Produces 120 because this is a pure baby. It'll be 240 when it's once we get Mark II. There we go. Okay. Now we want to run it kind of down here if possible. Oh my gosh, it's going to be tough. It says too steep and then too long. Hey, got it. Sometimes if you can get it right as it's hitting too long, then you can get it before it's too, you know, you can raise it up to deal with the too steep. Nice, there we go. Okay, so now I got my coal heading down. I got limestone over here as well. I'm just going to run it up here. I mean, let's put a splitter I don't know how much I need to split off for the transportation, though.
Okay. Let's see. Truck might be out of fuel or close to it. Oh my gosh, I really screwed this up. Can't even run up anymore. our truck friend oh I want to grab some coal to try to use myself by the way this needs to all be mark 2 I realized I need to upgrade this so I need some more reinforced plates so I can upgrade all this belt to mark 2 why is the coal not coming oh shoot Fell off. Why am I falling off? Yeah, this will be a nice little steel production area. It's so vast. Vast and pretty flat. Let me see, is it coming yet? I think I see it now. Where's my truck? I think it's dead. Maybe I have enough to coat some of this with here, too. Maybe not all of it. I don't know. We are running very long on this one. I'm just feeling like I'm not at a spot to feel confident yet. Nope, I definitely don't have enough steel plate. <laughs> okay, well, okay, that's another goal, get more steel plate. Or reinforced steel plate, I should say. And I want to try to load up some coal into the truck and just see if it can run on pure coal. Because if it can, you just feed some there. It'll eventually get backed up if it overflows, and then the rest will go to production anyway. So it won't really hinder too much. I don't think it'll burn that much coal that quickly. But I need to find my truck. So I think, since I haven't seen it, it must have run out of coal. Or out of fuel. I'm hoping if I throw coal in it, it'll be better again. Oh, it's over here. Did it get stuck? Or is it... Out. I think it's out of fuel. Pretty much as far away as it can be possible. That's terrible. Okay. Oh. He's there. So. Wow, it. Okay, I think it can use fuel. Yeah, it's using coal. Good. Let me drive it, and then... I just want to see how much fuel it uses driving back and forth. 98. 97. 
and then see if I refuel it if it fixes the issue. Ninety-five. So it looks like it'll probably use fifteen, or maybe twenty. Look at that, it fueled right back up. So I think we have a permanent fuel source coming in. Yep. I love it. It's getting seven per minute, that's it. The amount of oh, the amount of fuel required for the to finish its okay. Route. Nice. So all this fuel coming in is gonna help out a bit. And next up I start working on the full steel production down there. Uh, let's see where the iron veins are, if there's any that are close enough to help out. My goodness, they're pretty far, but they'll work. Alright guys, catch you in the next one. Bye.